and welcome to Geeky Bit. Today on Tech History, I would like to talk about something that gives me nostalgic feels, even though personally I've never used it. And what is that? It's Jim. No, not the 80s cartoon show or the guy from The Office. It is a graphical environment manager. Jim was introduced in 1985, and it had been in some stage of development since at least 1982. And it looked a lot like Lisa OS, which was Apple's first graphical operating system. As a side note, Lisa OS was released before Jim. Looking here side by side, Jim and Apple System OS look very identical. So Jim's claim to fame is that it is the GUI for Atari's TOS. The other half of Atari TOS was Jim DOS, and of course, like the name sounds, the same company made both components which comprised Atari's TOS. And the company that made Jim is called Digital Research. Digital Research was founded in 1974. It was later bought out by Novell. Jim itself, though, was actually usable on many different systems of the time. Jim happens to predate Windows, and if things happened to be a little bit different, perhaps we'd all still be using Jim to this date and have an operating system that would look very similar to Mac OS because Jim itself looked a lot like the older versions of System OS from Apple. I will be installing and demonstrating Jim on MS-DOS as it does happen to be compatible with Jim. Let's first get started by booting up our retro gaming computer and we will first go into Windows of course and then we will boot into DOS after copying over Jim. All right now I'm here I'm gonna delete this then let me just go ahead and clean up here real quick set it to auto range now let me go ahead and open up the USB drive and then we will copy over open gym, which is what I'm using. So we'll paste that into the base directory of our C drive. All right, now we've got that done. We'll shut down and go to DOS. Now that we're in DOS, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple things so we'll cd to the directory we need to do so we'll go to gym all right now let's list it oh there's install so let's go and install all right let's go ahead and you know what maybe we should probably back up our auto exec and config.sys before we do this so let's go ahead and get out of here all right so we're in C drive. Let's go ahead and copy auto exec dot bat to let's see here auto exec dot back. Of course, I'm bad at typing, so I have to type it a few times. All right take a look and make sure we have the file so we're bringing up edit file open and then we'll go down to auto exec dot back yeah looks like what it should do so we'll go ahead and close out of this now let's go ahead and copy config dot sys to config dot back all right, let's take a look at it. Open, make sure config.back is the right file. If I can find it, there it is. Or select it, right? There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and looks right. Exit. Now let's go ahead and go back to open gym. We'll install. Here it is installing everything. Now we'll go ahead and exit out of this. Mm hmm. And now let's go ahead and run, I guess, Jim. Oh, cool. It's not doing anything. Boy, I can't get anything to do it. So I guess we'll restart. Okay, let's go ahead and reboot. 
Uh, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and boot right into DOS since we don't need to copy any files over this time. So we'll go ahead and hit F8, go to command prompt only, wait for the thing to boot up, and then we're going to go ahead and do a DIR because I think there's a setup file and there is. We'll do that setup bat and then we'll see if we can change settings here. Okay, I think we'll go to video driver first. Well, it's already on what I want it to be, so we'll hit that and then go back to our main menu. And then, let's see here, we got sound. Let's try to change that. That might be why it's hanging up. Well, uh, it's already defaulted to what I want it to do, so we'll go to that. Okay, and um, I don't think repair is going to help us, so... I think that's pretty much all we can do in the setup window. Well, let's go ahead and try to launch Jim. Well, it looks like it's doing more this time, so maybe we just needed to restart the computer. Oh, the arrow keys work to move the mouse around, so that's good. And I can open things up. Let's go to setup for Doom. Let's see what happens if, when we launch that. All right, looks like it launches the executable. Let's see if it takes us back. Hey, it takes us back. This is good. Pretty happy with this. We need to get some mouse drivers working now. Okay, I've got some mouse drivers installed. Let's run them. CT mouse. Okay, looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and launch Jim. Let's see here. Oh, look at this. It works great. Now, let's see here. We'll run the Tetris app. Let's see if we can get it to work here. Uh, start game. Okay. And nothing's working on the keyboard. Well, this isn't good. Well, I'll just kind of have to wait here until the game times out. Come on. Oh, there. Nope. We can't change anything. Oh, there we go. Ready to quit. All right. Now let's see what else we can run. Oh, hey, is a word editor. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's type hello. People. Test, test. Test. Looks like the word editor works. Great. All right, let's see here. Let's quit and see what happens. Oh, hey, look, it even knows we haven't saved it. Good. This is good. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, uh, paint. Okay. Well, this looks kind of like a Windows paint program. Draw in a box. Hey, look, works fine. We have a color set. Let's try some other stuff here. Yeah, that seems to work great. All right, we'll get out of that. Let's see here. Let's go to the hard drive. Okay. Shows a hard drive. Oh, that closes it. Let's try to do that again. Oh, that doesn't seem to allow us to make it bigger. We can move it around though. Yeah, it just the moment we Click off of that. So obviously I'm not very good at managing Windows yet, but you know, this is the literal second time I've actually run the program and it's done stuff. So let's take a look at about it. Yeah, right here we can see we're running Free Gym. Of course, the original project. And there we go. So that seems to be working great. Now that we've seen Jim in action, let's talk about my personal history with Jim. But before we do, we need to go back to the mid-90s to explain my first similar experience to Jim. And that was back on a Macintosh Classic 2, I believe. It was the first time I ever experienced the graphical user interface for the new Apple operating system. And I was a PC person, so I wasn't necessarily a big fan of it. I had Windows 95 and it was... Mm, 
kind of whatever. But then I got introduced to something called HyperCard. And oh my goodness, it was my first experience with kind of like a pseudo programming. And I had a lot of fun with that. And you know, I didn't really have a Macintosh at home, so I didn't really pursue that any further. But if we fast forward about a decade, we'll see the first time I was introduced to the gym operating system. Uh, it gave me a flood of nostalgia for those old Macintosh computers that I used in the mid 90s at school because the operating system looked to me almost identical. I did a ton of research and found that you could run it on pretty much anything of the day, uh, but it was most popular for obviously the Atari computer's operating system. Seeing how I never got to use the Atari operating system or an Atari, and it reminded me of those old uh, Apple computers that I got to use, I decide I'm going to go buy one. And then I found out they were super expensive. Luckily, you can install it on DOS, and that's what I did today to test it out. It definitely hit those nostalgic feels for the old Apple computers that I used to use. However, it was more like a sort of kind of like the executor emulator for apple computers that was kind of like them but definitely not overall i'm happy i tried it out and if you haven't you can check it out too it's absolutely free now that we've had a trip down memory lane and we've seen it let's get down to my thoughts about jim so it seems to be about as robust as windows 3.1 of course it certainly still reminds me of those old macintosh computers it seems to work right alongside windows 95 which is absolutely great if you have an old retro computer i'm certain if things had been a little different jim likely would have taken off and we would definitely see pretty much the same kind of os looking graphical environment as a modern day mac on pcs and i think that's something really interesting to take away and again i had a lot of fun taking a look at jim and i think it would definitely be great on say an older retro dos computer as a gui to launch applications so while it may not be an operating system of the future or what we currently use i think it definitely could have a second life as an operating system people use on old retro dos gaming computers i hope you had as much fun watching this video as i did making it and if you do like these videos feel free to like and also subscribe if you aren't already and click that bell button to get notifications of future videos you have a great day and i hope you enjoyed this tech history video